Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Universe Mode video. We are live in North Charleston, South Carolina, and look who it is. All right, guys, Carmella and Maxine Dupree making their debut here in the Universe Mode series. And guys, you see women's tag team action. That means it is the next match in the tag team title tournament here for the women here on the Orange brand. But guys, who are Carmella and Maxine Dupree going to take on in this tag team women's contest here in our first match of WCW Nitro? And there are their opponents, Isla Dawn and Alba Fire. The Unholy Union is here, guys. Look at this. This is great. This is going to be a great tag team match. Look at the updated bracket we saw last week that Chelsea Green and Piper Niven got the win to advance here. So the winner of this match will fight them at the next pay-per-view, which is next week at Clash at the Castle Live in Glasgow, Scotland. And what a win this would be for Alba Fire and Isla Dawn if they can get a title match in their home country. But guys, let's get down to this match. All right, here we go. Carmella and Alba Fire starting it off. And Mella... Starting off great, one half of the Diva Dollars, as they call themselves, and Mela going to town and now going after Isla. Carmela kicked to the back of fire. And now maybe looking for a top rope attack. And a uh, top rope attack. Mela diving crossbody. Pin attempt now. One, two. No, only a one, one and a half, maybe 1.9. Carmella gets Alba fired back up to her feet and a big strike there from the princess from Staten Island. Irish whip counter there from one half of the Unholy Union. And now a sucker punch. No, Maxine Dupree counters there. Huge counter there. Maxine Dupree needed that. And now, oh, down goes Carmella. You guys, look at this crowd loving the WCW brand here on WCW Nitro here in South Carolina. And now look at this high boot to the neck and the face of Carmella, courtesy of Alba Fire. Who will go to Summers, or not SummerSlam, Clash at the Castle in a couple weeks. Pin attempt there from Alba Fire, kick out. Maxine Dupree was trying to get involved. She was looking for a tag there, but an Irish whip from fire. Then Holy Union was maybe looking for a tag team move here. And look at this, a schoolboy super kick from Carmella. Not really a schoolboy, just a thrust kick to the jaw. But a kick out at one there from one half of the Diva Dollars. Mella, Irish whip, maybe a tag team move here from them. Nope. Carmella taking it herself. Oh, face first into the turnbuckle. Goes fired. Alba hoisting Carmella up and plants her down on the canvas. Oh, look at... Oh, working on the arm now. And now we might get our first look at Isla Dawn, and we do. Tag made. Carmella was trying to run there, and I do not know what happened there. But... Oh my god, nice kick there from Dawn. Kick to the back from Isla now, and a double stomp to the chest. Irish whip from Mella off the ropes, and an elbow there from Carmella. What a great tag team match this has been thus far. We are having a great match, and here comes a tag team move from the Diva Dollars. And up and down goes Isla Dawn. Now getting our first look at Maxine Dupree here in the Universe Mode Series. And face first into the canvas goes Dawn. Now an arm drag. Counter there. High knee. 
Getting closer to the action now. Going into the corner. What are we going to see now? Just working on the arm is Dawn. And Isla. Looking great so far. Besides getting planted from that double team move. And look at this. The high kick. Or not really a kick. But the high leg extend into the throat of Maxine Dupree. And now Maxine getting choked out by one half of the Unholy Union. The Unholy Union looking to fight in their home country of Scotland at Clash at the Castle next Sunday. Uh, oh, Carmella with a running head scissors here, possibly in a head scissors there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You could say it's money because Mella is money. And, oh, nice tag team move there from the women from Scotland. Oh, they're not done. What? Oh, my God. That was an insane combo there. That was a great tag team move. You can tell these women have perfect chemistry. They want to be in that tag team title picture, or they are in the picture, but they want to be finalists. They want to become champions. And Carmella gets a count of one. I believe that was a face buster. I kind of missed it there. And now Carmella, Irish whip. Maybe a tag team move here from Carmella and Maxine Dupree. No. Face first into the turnbuckle goes Isla Dawn. And now maybe another shot to the turnbuckle pad. Oh, she does go right into the turnbuckle pad once again. And now a punch to the face. And back in comes Maxine Dupree. Oh, Dupree now. What's she thinking? Using the ropes and now stomp right to the midsection in a pin attempt. From Maxine Dupree. Kick out at one is Isla Dawn. We'll switch up the camera here a little. Sorry if I move it too much. But oh my god. Repeated shots to Dupree. Plants her down and now I'll cover. One. Kick out at one. And guys if you have not seen the last episode of Universe Mode. Make sure to check it out. It will be featured at the end card of this video. So make sure to stick around for the whole thing because you do not want to miss this episode. It's going to be a good one, guys. And look at this tag team move here from the Unholy Union and a assisted top rope shoulder tackle there from them. And now Isla Dawn takes off the turnbuckle pad and a spear to a Carmella. Count of one. Back in comes Maxine. Maxine Irish whipped into the corner. And now... Maxine is in deep, deep water right now. She is drowning. Never mind. She counters, trying to get back on the offense. Irish whip. Nope. Counter. And Carmella gets back up. But Isla Dawn is now landing shots on Maxine in a stunner. And we are having a great match here on WCW Nitro. Tag made here comes Alba Fire. And now down goes Carmella once again. The Diva Doll is down on the floor here. They got to get up if they want to win this match. Oh, here comes Alba to the outside. Carmella is still dead on the floor. And, oh, maybe a counter here from Maxine Dupree. Yep, chop block to the leg of Alba Fire. Carmella now gets back up to her feet on that apron. And Maxine Dupree with a nice suplex there. Count of five now. Six. Oh my god, Alba. Relax. Just planted Carmella with that lariat. And now Maxine going after Isla Dawn in a stunner there to the outside. Count of eight. Here comes Alba Fire. And look at this. This might be the end. The Unholy Union might be fighting Chelsea Green and Piper Niven at Clash at the Castle one week from Sunday. And oh, kick out at two is Maxine Dupree. Fire now looking for something new to try to put away this team. And oh my god, what a shot. Oh, top rope here. Top rope attack. Swanton bomb from Alba Fire into a pin. One, two, three. The Unholy Union are moving on. The Unholy Union is moving on. And guys, there is an updated look at the bracket. And there is big matches happening at Clash at the Castle here 
next Sunday. But guys, let's get down to our next match. All right, guys, up next, we have a battle in the mid-card division. We have Hangman on the page taking on Braun Breaker. There is Hangman Page looking for his first win in the series, and look who is with him. It is the man that defeated Braun Breaker to get to Money in the Bank a couple months ago, Sami Zayn. But guys, let's get down to Braun Breaker. And there is badass Braun Breaker. Breaker making his way down to the ring, looking for his, I don't believe his first win, but I could be mistaken. And if you want to fact check me now, make sure to go in the description of this video and click on the spreadsheet where you can see everything. I mean, everything that has to do with my WWE 2K24 Universe Mode season, because it has everyone's win-loss record, every Nitro and SmackDown we've done, and every pay-per-view result. But guys, let's get down to the ring for this mid-card clash. All right, here we go. Oh, both men miss their mark early, and Braun Breaker and Hangman Page are ready to go to war here on this episode of Nitro. And now Hangman leans Breaker on the ropes, picks him up, and now drops him, and down goes Braun Breaker. Like I said, look at that. Sami Zayn on the side of Hangman Page here. Don't know why, but he has... Look, or he looks like he's aligned himself with the Cowboy. And speaking of the Cowboy, the Cowboy going for a frog splash and connects to the back of Breaker. And now going for a pin to kick out at two is now Braun. Punch to the back of the head. Braun Breaker needs to find a way to counter these moves from Page because Page is on the momentum and he's not going to stop till the ref counts three when he goes for a pin. And guys, just a reminder that this coming Sunday is the one week away mark from the Clash at the Castle pay-per-view. Clash at the Castle is happening one week from this Sunday. And you guys, you don't want to miss it. It is our, I think, our first international pay-per-view in the series. It is the pay-per-view that has taken place in Scotland. Glasgow, Scotland, that is. So we will be looking forward to that. I know I am. I know you guys might be as well. But look at this, Braun Breaker is now on the offense, and he's trying to think of something he can do to put away Hangman Page. Oh, strong Irish whip, and look at Breaker's face after he just tossed Hangman Page outside that ring like he was a little baby. And Braun just staring at him while the ref keeps counting. Hangman getting up to his feet, and Braun Breaker just waited for that moment. Sucker punch, and now Braun Breaker with a beautiful combo trying to finish it off. Maybe a suplex. Ooh, modified inverted suplex there from badass Braun Breaker. Braun Breaker needs a win here in this series, and so does Hangman. So these two need to win regardless. But who will it be, guys? I don't know. Could not tell you. And you got to think Sami Zayn is going to do something in, in this match. There's a reason he's right here. Getting a shot kind of from Sami Zayn's perspective if we go a little closer. But now Braun Breaker drops Hangman on that top rope. And guys, make sure to subscribe if you are new. Because you do not want to miss any Universe Mode of video. We upload it every Monday, Friday, and then every three Sundays. Which is the third Sunday in each month. Or like, depending on the Universe Mode calendar. But if that doesn't make sense, like I said, this coming... Not this coming Sunday, but the following Sunday, so... One week from this Sunday, we'll be Clash at the Castle. And then we will be done doing Sunday uploads till the next pay-per-view. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. But the weekly shows go up at 11. Oh, no, they do not. They go up at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And the pay-per-views go up at 11.30 Eastern Standard Time. So make sure to watch those. Subscribe. Turn the post notification bell on because you do not want to miss this terrific series. And sometimes, maybe, 
I will live stream the pay-per-views early on Twitch. Link will be in the description under the link tree and a reverse STO signature maneuver from Page looking to put Breaker away. Breaker kicks out. But what I was saying, make sure to subscribe. Just subscribe. And guys, I apologize if you hear some background noise throughout these last two matches, but a dead shot there from Hangman. And now Hangman looking to get the win here, dragging Braun Breaker like he is a dead corpse. And now going for a pin is Hangman, looking for his first one in the series. Two, three, he gets his first win. Here is your winner, Adam Page. Hangman Page gets his win here, his first win in WWE 2K24 Universe Mode in this mid-card bout, along with his manager, Sami Zayn. But guys, let's get down to our main event of this episode. Ace Army, it is finally time for our main event of the episode. We have an old rivalry coming back. We have the Dr. of Thugonomics, John Cena, taking on the phenomenal AJ Styles. And there is the Dr. of Thugonomics, Mr. John Cena, making his way to the Nitro Ring. I could be mistaken, but the last time we saw a big match, John was when he lost to his opponent that he's facing in this match. AJ Styles at the Fastlane pay-per-view where AJ Styles, the phenomenal one, became the inaugural World Heavyweight Champion here on WCW. But I could be wrong, but will John Cena get his revenge on AJ Styles? And there is the leader of the Bullet Club, the former World Heavyweight Champion, let me say that again. The former World Heavyweight Champion, AJ Styles. Not with the Bullet Club, just all by his lonesome here in the main event and of this episode. Representing the club from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles, like I said, the leader of the Bullet Club, he desired, or desired, decided to redesign the OC and bring back the Bullet Club at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, which he lost his world title there against the f another former champion in the Viper, Randy Orton. But that is why he's wearing all Bullet Club gear. And guys, I'm ready to relive this old rivalry we saw earlier on in the series. So let's get down to Styles versus Cena. All right, here we go. Cena Styles here in the main event of Nitro. And look at this big match. John starting off hot with that big slam. And now maybe looking for a powerbomb counter from the former WCW champion. Styles now Irish whip. In the corner we go. Kick to the midsection. AJ looking for something big here. Oh, nice maneuver there. Going for a quick cover here on the leader of the C Nation. The doctor kicks out at one. AJ, springboard, moonsault connects. And now AJ with some kicks to the back to John Cena. And now AJ going to the top rope here in this wide shot. And a frog splash there. One, two, kicks out at two is John. Styles trying to make quick work of Cena here in this open, or not this opening contest, this main event contest that is. And a diving elbow drop there from AJ. Look at this. Styles keeps going for pin after pin. He is desperate for this win. He wants to put away John Cena for the second time this season. But will it happen, guys? Stick around. And now a kick to the back is Styles. John counters there, trying to get back on the offense. John, I don't know what he's doing here, but he's working on the face of Styles with something there. Don't know what that was. Flips him around. And now picking AJ up by the leg and then stepped on his like inside of the uh, leg there. I don't even know. The knee? The inside of the knee maybe? And then Irish whip right to the barricade right on that WCW logo. Now Styles with a counter of his own. Charleston, South Carolina. Loving this episode of Nitro, guys. And if you are, make sure to subscribe. Count of six. 
Styles gets back in the ring. Chop to the chest. Three chops to the chest. Kick. Another high kick. And AJ Styles is on one. What a DDT. Beautiful sequence of events from the former WCW champion. Counter there from John. Elbow drop. John Cena now trying to fight back against the leader of the Bullet Club. And he hits a double axe handle. Styles goes to the floor. Into the floor we go. AJ drops Cena down. Oh my god, what a shot to the side of the head. God damn, AJ, relax. Con elbow tie up is Styles now. I see Cena up. And look at this. Drops him on the barricade right in front of the front row fans here in row one. Styles throwing the arm of Cena into the concrete, not really the concrete floor, but the outside floor. He did that twice, actually, to be exact. And now Cena dropped right on his neck. Oh, my God, AJ. Relax. AJ is a madman. He wants to put away John Cena quick and easy. And he's pretty much doing it, honestly. AJ gets back in the ring. Styles going to the legs again. Oh, my God. Trying to break him, I think. And now a step up and Siguri there from John. Cena now looking for a powerbomb, possibly. And he hits it, a powerbomb there from the Doctor of Thugonomics. Cena now getting pumped up, looking for something. AJ rolls out of the ring before anything bad could happen. And now John Cena to the top rope. Oh, he gets down. He sees AJ is getting up. And now John is taunting. That is not good, guys. Oh, and maybe it is. Because look at this. John Cena plants the phenomenal one down. Cena off the ropes. Goes off the ropes again with another shoulder tackle. And now Cena plants down the former champion. Cena looking for something. Cena with a sucker punch to the face of Styles. Now what? Oh, AJ kicked to Cena. And look at these men trading blows here in our main event of Nitro. Styles and Cena back and forth. Oh my god. Cena now. Oh. Punch from Styles. Oh, Cena telling AJ to bring it on. Cena eats that chop. Oh, Styles might have him here. Oh no, never mind. Styles might be in trouble, actually. Oh no. I don't know who's gonna get the best of this, guys. Chop to the chest. Cena. Nope. Cena's move gets countered. Oh, Cena's one step ahead. And look at this. We have a hockey fight here in the home of the Carolina Hurricanes. The Carolinas, pretty much the same thing. I know we're in South Carolina, but it's basically the same thing. I'm guessing they would root for them. And now Styles with a big drop kick off the ropes. Meaning Cena coming off the ropes. Before all you people comment or think, oh, he doesn't know his moves. That's what I meant. It's all right. You try to do this. But now, John in trouble. This is a pretty sick shot with the Nitro stage in the background. And, oh, Cena gets drop kicked to the floor. AJ now taunting on top of Cena's dead body. Oh, now in goes Styles. AJ taunting on John Cena, count of two. Oh, look at this. Styles, the former WCW champion, trying to put away John Cena, and he does. Styles clash to the Doctor of Thugonomics. That might be it. John Cena lost to AJ Styles. He Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. All right, guys. AJ Styles with an incredible win here in our main event of Nitro. Guys, we are backstage following that main event, and look at this. CM Punk and Gallows. Going to town. That is another member of the Bullet Club. If you guys did not know, Luke Gallows has aligned himself with AJ Styles and his tag team partner, Carl Anderson, ever since the series debuted. And look at this, guys. Why is Punk and Luke Gallows going after each other? You got to think it has to do with Styles, right? Maybe, but the WCW champion now Irish whips Gallows close to that ambulance.
Now Punk, stop sign in hand. What's he thinking now? Punk throws the stop sign to Luke Gallows' face. And now Punk looking for a go to sleep. Oh. Gallows counters the GTS, looks like, with a lariat of his own. And now Gallows looking for some strength, and he plants down the champion. Now stop sign in hand from Gallows. And now trying to throw it on Punk, and he does. Right on the arm. And now a nice splash there from Luke. Gallows really going to town here on CM Punk. But Punk counters. Punk. Oh. Roundhouse kick gets countered. Oh, my God. Counter after counter from Gallows. And a power slam there from the big LG. And now nice high kick there from Punk. Punk now trying to put this away. Punk looking for the GTS. Punk hoisting up Luke Gallows. And now a GTS. Guys, that is it for this Universe Mode episode. I will see you this Friday for more.